Hey guys, it's Doc, and we're gonna answer the question of should I bag or should I mulch? It's the mystery that's haunted man for over 10,000 years, and we're gonna answer the question for you. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, it's a question I get all the time, and I'm gonna answer it for you. Cause uh, it's it's a little bit, it's not as easy as a lot of people think. Should I bag or should I mulch? Now, just so you know, this is this video is part of about four short videos that I'm doing this weekend. I got a weird schedule, clouds, thunderstorms. One of the videos is about 10, 10, 10. The other one's gonna be about my soil testing, month long soil testing results I've been doing and putting sort of labs against each other. Some of the stuff just doesn't make any sense at all. Some of it's good information. And that's gonna be one of my next videos. As you can see, every other lawn in my neighborhood is brown. Mine almost starting to look a little bit like a fairway. I have green over 99% of my lawn. It's still not high, but it's a little green haze everywhere all through here because we've been spraying super juice. I've been spraying super juice for now, uh, coming up on five or four or five weeks. So my lawn has a little bit of a head start. It's about time to put out some PGF. Put out your PGF. I wanted to show you a bag. I finally got mine in. This is a bag. This is an 18 pound bag that'll cover 5,000 square feet. That's a professional grade fertilizer. Has humic DG already inside of it, plus iron. Great product. Okay, so let's talk about the rules of when to bag and when to mulch and what I do. Rule number one is color. B equals brown and bad. So if you have dead Bermuda grass or dead grass, it's brown. There's very little nutritional value returning it. You want to get it out of there. You're just going to create a matting layer that takes a long time to actually go away. You're not adding anything really back to your, back to your soil and your lawn structure with B brown bad. Green is good. Green still has nutrients, it's still alive, it's going to decompose a little bit easier. So if you have green clippings, you're going to want to either mulch those or return those to the ground. So that's pretty simple. Uh, brown, bad, B. G, good, green. That's rule number one. Rule number two is going to be a granular fertilizer. Have you put out some granular or have you put out a granular treatment that's still sitting on the ground? And are you cutting your grass really short? Is there a chance that some of those, that granular is going to be sucked back up in the clippings? And you'll see it. You go to empty your clipping bags and you'll see granular fertilizer or whatever inside there. So that's another time. Another time is after a recent granular application, you probably do not want a bag, especially with organics. Organics have a tendency to be lighter and they have a tendency to suck up into the bagging system. So you want to make sure you return during that time. The other, the other thing is, is um, those crazy times where your lawn gets a little bit out of control. You go, out of vac you go on a vacation, let's say for a week, and you come back and your grass is just out of control. Uh, maybe you had three, maybe you had five days of rain and you can't get your mower out there to cut. And your grass is growing, grass is growing, grass is growing. And you're like, man, what am I gonna do? Well, a lot of times that's too much clippings to return to the lawn. So in that case, if I have a real explosion of growth, then I'm actually gonna bag it during that period as well too. But most of the time, especially during the summer, I'm gonna go ahead and either mulch or return the clippings to the ground. That's the simple rule. Now, I'm gonna show you here real quick. Uh, this really only applies if you have a riding lawn mower and if you have a bagging system. I'm gonna show you real quick just a clip of how I put my bagging system on my mower, but I don't use the bags. And what that does is I went and cut barbs, even though it's brown, but I put granular, I put the PGF fertilizer down on barbs and I didn't want to move that because that's what happens. A lot of times you'll move your granular fertilizers or you'll pick them up in a bagging system. So I'm going to show you a way to drop it down real quick. So let me go ahead and show you that real quick. So let me walk over to the mower over here. Um, if you have a riding lawnmower with a bag system, this is really the only time it applies. But here's what I do. I don't want my granulars to be pushed away and pushed into paths. So what I do is I put my, uh, I put my bagging system on my unit, if you, can do, if you can do this. But what I do is I take the bags off and see what it does. It just basically throws it into this into this header box system here, and then it just drops down back down on the ground.
So, uh, that's pretty much the simple rule. Majority of the time, returning your clippings to your ground is not really going to increase your thatch layer. Your ground will sort of decompose those and eat those on their own. So whenever possible, the rule of thumb is, is you want to return your clippings to the ground. The problem comes in sometimes when you're running Bermuda grass and when you're running Bermuda grass and you're keeping it really short, returning the clippings can be a problem. But for the majority of people that have fescue lawns or any other type of lawns, or even if your Bermuda is medium height, returning the clippings is good for it. It returns nutritional value to the lawn. You're adding organic, organic matter, which really is, organic matter really is super strong. And that's one of the reasons why we switch over to organic fertilizers in the summertime is to add that organic matter in there. So as you can tell, my lawn, <laughs> that's looking pretty good I gotta tell you this is the beginning of April the majority of lawns are actually totally brown in my neighborhood I'm the only one with a green lawn matter of fact the UPS guy I'd never seen this UPS guy and the other day uh, he stopped by and he said, hey how'd you get your Bermuda so green I said you see a lot of lawns don't you and he goes yeah I drive all over I said you see any of this green he goes nope <laughs> so uh, I actually gave him a bag of super juice but don't forget, I'm going to go ahead and in the description down below, I'll put a link to a page. And if you need to find the Super Juice or the PGF fertilizer, I'll put links down to those below as well, too. And don't forget, uh, of course, we hate to say it, but subscribe. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. And after you subscribe, click that bell. Make the bell click. And that way, what that bell does, in case you don't know, it actually notifies you. It'll send you a notification saying, hey, Doc posted a new video. That's about it, guys. Just wanted to address that issue. Again, this is one of short, four short clips I'm trying to get done this weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye.